So when we open the file here, what we've got is one picture. I'm going to turn off some of these layers. But we've got that picture three times. And we've got it three times so that we can create use one as a long shot, one as a uh, medium shot, and one as a close-up. And now I'm going to turn off the art so that we can see what we're talking about. These are our frames. We can move these frames if you want. Depending upon your software, you may need to grab, uh, do it that way, or maybe a little copying and paste, depending upon the software. Um, for now, I'm going to leave my, my three panels this way. And I'm going to use, for sure, I'm going to start with panel one up on top as is. But now I have the question of figuring out, is panel two my close-up and panel three is my medium shot, or vice versa? Um, the shape of the panel border seems to imply that this one would be the close-up th because it's smaller, whereas this, the medium shot, would tend to have a little room for a couple of characters. So I'm going to go with long shot, medium shot, close-up. So now that I know that, and I could do this in any order, I could start with trying to figure out what the story is and then rearranging the frames accordingly, but I'm going to this way start with the frames. Um, now I need to think about which character do I want the story to be about and who is going to be zoomed in on and by that third image. And I'm starting to think, you know, originally, if you take a look, you've got a really good shot. Whoa. You've got a really good shot of Odysseus over here. We could put him in the middle um, and then even zoom in on him over here um, in the right as maybe he's starting to think about what's really going on here. And maybe that is a good story. Let's go with that. Um, and again, depending upon your software, you're going to have to figure out how to get rid of some of this excess. In Photoshop, um, and I don't want to get into too much computer stuff, but in Photoshop you can do something called a mask, and that's what I just did. And, um, and I'll turn off that bottom there, so now you can see it right sitting right there. Which means that at this point, I've got three characters here. What I need to do is zoom in on one of those three for this for this last panel. And I could be a little, um, I play against the rules a little bit and maybe close up on Cersei um, so we can start to think about what she's saying and thinking, or even this like green lady over on the right, which might be kind of fun, in fact. You know, let's do that. Let's just follow our intuition. And let's make, make, let's make this character focusing in, we have really got to zoom in on, on her. Let's make this character's thoughts or words sort of focusing in on um, the relationship happening between Circe and Odysseus. So I've got a big zoom and I'm just trying to make this work in the software here. But there she is. And now we're going to mask her off too. And again, some of this computer trickery is, is, is up to you in the software. Um, it's, some of it's not super simple. It, once you know what it is. So, but what I've done is mask it off. So now I've got three panels. Long shot, right? And then a, a medium shot with a couple of the characters and you get a little sense of the relationship happening here. And then, it, and then you get this third panel zooming in on one of the uh, waitresses or um, you know servants, whatever you want to call her. From there, we've got our frames in. We can start to think about what these characters are saying. I'm going to pull up my balloons. I'm going to bring this one down for her because she, she is ready to start talking, I think. And maybe Circe and Odysseus, I'm going to have them saying something. And maybe our caption box, which we're going to need to move because I want to be able to show Odysseus and Circe. So I'm going to maybe throw it over here a little bit and say something like um, about how the party was starting. Uh, Party was starting to gear up. Let's see if that's. Uh, I think we can make that a little bigger. And fit it into that balloon. We can even shrink this cat, this box a little now. And again, as I do this, I want you to realize this is just my. I'm gonna put some sort of cliched come here often. Big boy kind of stuff in here. Why not? Because what she's saying isn't as important as, as what's going on over here. 
Cersei, if you remember from the story, if you've read it, you know that Odysseus stays with Cersei a long time. So we're just going to have her saying that. This is just simple story ideas. And, but again, I sort of set myself up the challenge of trying to think about what's going to happen here. Maybe she knows all about Cersei's Sucker for the pig pen. I just want to make it big enough to small enough to fit. So here's what we've got is um, two caption boxes. I'm not really sure who's who's um, narrating here. One of the soldiers or sailors, I suspect. Oops, let's move that down. Let's turn that one off. We don't seem to need it. And I think this can get a little larger and then her text can get a little larger too. And so what we've got is, is big party scene. The party was starting to gear up. Come here often, big boy. It's kind of generic. Let's you know what Let's flip that balloon because it, it, it fits pointing to her a little better that way. We'll move that text back in here. It's just some sort of generic party language. I want you to stay a long time, Cersei's saying. And then, but then, adding a little suspense, we, we focus in on this waitress, another sucker for the pig pen. So if we're paying attention to Odysseus's story, as we see this waitress comment, the servant comment on what's happening, we can start to feel a little anxious for Odysseus. And we didn't know what was coming. We sort of amplify that with that caption box there. Um, of course, I th this happens after um, after they're actually captive, and at this part they're they're more um, friendly. But we've created our own version of it here, and that's pretty much what we've done. And you could do that with any of these characters in here. Would make a great character to zoom in on. Maybe you want to zoom in on this guy. Maybe you want to zoom in on Odysseus and have him saying something at the end, or even Cersei. I chose to be a little different and, and focus on actually the smallest character in the entire scene. So that's, that's what this exercise is about.